So we're going to look at the transposition of the following formulas and each one we're going to find the one in brackets. Um, so starting with very simple ones we'll start with v power equals i times v. So transposition, useful skill to have because you either have to remember every formula and every possible combination or if you can remember how to transpose a formula you've only got to remember the one and then we can rearrange it once we got that far. So this one here, well, we know it fits in a triangle, to be quite honest. And if you can remember they fit in a triangle, then all you need to do if you want to find P, it's obviously V times I, if you want to find I, cover up I, and it's P divided by V. So how does that basically work? Well, so we want to find V. So I is multiplying, so to get i over the other side, currently it's timesing, so to get out the other side it becomes a divide. So you divide each side by i, and if we divide like that, then they cancel out if you remember doing those, and what you're left with, power divided by i as per triangle. This one, not quite so easy because you can't fit it in a triangle because you've got a square in there. We want to find V, but basically we have to do the same thing again. So let's get rid of the R. R is dividing. The opposite to divide is multiply. So that becomes P times R equals V squared. That gets rid of this. And basically it moves over there. We don't want it squared. So the opposite to square is a square root. So we've got a square root all of the other side. So what we end up with when we draw it on the other side is we square root the entire side. So v is equal to the square root of power times resistance. This one here is power factor divided by r divided is equal to r divided by z. So this one does fit in the triangle, its power factor is equal to r divided by z, r being resistance, z being impedance. So this one can go in the triangle. And r will go at the top, power factor will go there, and z will go there. Remember these are divide, so if you want to find power factor, R divided by Z, which is what it already has. If you want to find Z, it becomes R divided by power factor. How does that work? Well, this is divide, so that goes over there and becomes a multiply. So your stages is, is becomes power factor times Z is equal to R. We want it for z, so power factor comes and drops underneath and becomes a divide. Okay, so here we have three other formulas. Uh, z is equal to the square root of r squared plus xl squared. If you remember this, this is actually Pythagoras. Effectively, these two are the same, both Pythagoras. And this one is a resistivity calculation. So we need to transpose these. When I get to R, well, we've got a square root. So the first thing we need to do is get rid of this square root. So the opposite to square root is a square. So to get rid of this, we square both sides. That will cancel out this square. So what you're left with, Z squared is equal to r squared plus xl squared. Well now we've got that, we'd leave the squares where they are. So these are just going to swap over. So it's going to be this, take away whatever is the other one is. So we want r to z squared take xl squared. But we don't want these squares, so we don't want this squared here. So to get rid of this, we square root it. And we put the square root back in here. And 
minus XL squared. This one, basically the same. So to get rid of that, so this one becomes XL is equal to the square root of Z squared minus R squared. This one down here, uh, this is resistance. This is rho, which is called, which is the resistivity of a material. This is L, which is length, and A is the cross-sectional area of the cable. So this is finding that resistance of a conductor on a certain material, a certain length, and a certain cross-sectional area. So it's just asking you to transpose it. So to do this, what we need to do is get rid of the A. So the A is divide becomes a multiply. R times A is equal to rho L. Now once you've got a formula in this position, it's actually really easy um, to transpose. So we want to find L, so these are both multiply on this side. So to go over the other side, the rho will drop under the other side and become a divide. Likewise, if we wanted to find A once in this position, R is multiplying, so to go to the other side it becomes a divide, so the R would drop underneath here. So just to show you what that would do for L, L is equal to R times A divided by rho.